Welcome to another episode of Life in Rural Japan. I found this Pikachu in the field. He was pretty tall. I don't know how many meters tall he'd be, five or six meters tall. Anyway, it's the beginning of autumn. Still as hot as any, I think still over 30 every day, so people are out cutting all the grass, a lot of grass to be cut. You have to take the rubbish. This is plastic recyclable. On the bags, it's written in all different languages. So down the road here, we have to put it here. Not like where you, you know, in other countries, they come and pick up from your house. Here you have to deliver it to pick up points. So here it is in the, for the pick up tomorrow. Sunflowers are all out. So I went and had a bit of a look at the sunflowers. It was really nice. A lot of sunflowers here. So it was nice seeing them, it's a bit of a change, but there was no clouds in the sky. Over 30 every day, it was still, it was just like summer. This photographer lady, she was taking photos of families with the sunflowers. So here's this family, husband and wife and a baby she was taking photos of with the sunflowers. Down the road, they were putting, they are starting to build a footpath over this drain. So they've put all the rebar in here. They've started to form it up here and they'll pour the concrete and then put concrete slabs on top. This takes some months to do, it's not a quick job. So this is only half, then they have to do the other half after they finish here. Here they were doing road works. They're as slow as anything when they do this. Here's this guy just sitting on the front end loader, just playing with his phone. Everyone was on smoke or no one was around. Anyway, with the rainy, with the autumn, you get a lot of typhoons. So you get a lot of wind and a lot of rain. So with the typhoons, it really knocks the rice around here. You can see how it's sort of flattened it. But it's funny, in spots it flattens it, in other spots it's standing up as good as gold. So it just depends. I think they have different types of rice, so I don't know. Some is a bit weaker, so it tends to blow over easier. But so it's time to harvest the rice. So they, after the typhoon, when the sun comes out again, they'll get in and start harvesting. So they use these harvesters here to harvest the rice. They just go through it, they're pretty quick. Chew it up, spits it all out the back. So all the rice, it strips it and the rice goes into the tank on the back of the harvester. A lot of birds hang around, they get a lot of grasshoppers. When the grasshoppers come up, they get them. But here you can see this is how big the, the things with the rice are. So they get quite a few stalks. And here they are pumping the rice into the truck to go off to the silos. So with autumn, it's time to get rid of the summer vegetables, plough up the fields, ready for the winter vegetables. So the, the, a lot of these little tractors are very popular. Here at home, we've got them all ploughed up, ready for the new vegetables to go in. There's just a few of the old vegetables we've got to finish off and then the new, all the new ones will go in. This train spotting is very popular in Japan. A lot of people come down to watch the trains go past and take photos. It's quite nice watching the trains over the rice. So at the end of things, everyone was down having a bit of a fish. So I hope you enjoyed a bit of a look at autumn in rural Japan. If you like, if you could please subscribe to the channel, I'd really like it and give it a like this family or, and that were down fishing. This lady here, she had caught a lot of crabs, but they were real tiny little fellas. So until next time, take it easy. That's all for now. See you.